Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I am going to be sharing with you all of my December favorites. I had thought about perhaps not doing this video and then I'm like, you know what, I have some things that may not be yearly favorites, but they've been up there in favorites for the month. And so I can't really not talk about them because I just can't not talk about things. So let's just get started, shall we? Um, the first thing is going to be a wine selection. Um, this is the Carnivore Wine. It's a Cabernet from California, 2013. This is amazing. We've been, you know, it's Christmas. It's the month of Christmas. We've been just eating a lot heartier meals, a lot more meats and potatoes. And this is the best companion to an absolutely delicious roast or prime rib or uh, barbecued, uh, we've been doing barbecued ribs, and this is a very full-bodied wine. This is the kind of wine where you look over to whoever you're eating with and they have purple all over their lips, purple all over your teeth, <laughs> but you're both just giddy and laughing because the wine is that delicious that you don't care that you have purple mouth and purple lips. Um, but it's a very full-bodied wine, very stainy, don't spill this. Um, it has hints of blackberry, caramel, roast coffee, and toasted oak. It is full, it is rich, it's not dry. Um, it has a hint of sweetness from the blackberry, but that, that I love coffee, so that very coffee flavor comes through. It even smells like coffee. It is so good, um, and I love this wine. Been loving it all month long, actually. Even my husband has been saying he really likes this wine, and he's not really... He likes red wine, but not all red wines. So the flavors on that one is just amazing. Okay, on my nails this week and all this month, I um, have been testing out the Madame Glam nail polishes. And this one I put on for Christmas. And I'm filming at a different angle because the sun is coming into my room now, as you can see. And so I have to have a little bit different of angle, but I kind of like it. I like it. Um, anyways, this is the Madame Glam nail polish. It's called Original Sin. Let me just tell you a little something about this one coat I am wearing well it's chipped off I've had this on all week so one coat of this and it was opaque and I was done base coat one coat of this top coat done I was really really impressed with the formula um you do have to wait while it dries I'm very impatient so that's very hard for me to do but I put this on last week and the week before and I did notice if you do not wait there's like these little bubbles that form. That might be, I don't know, I'm probably doing something wrong. I'm not an expert when it comes to nail polish. However, I really love the color. I thought the formula was very impressive. I mean, if I can get a full opacity on my coat, on my nails in one coat, I mean, I'm sold. So it's called Original Sin. It's a cream formula. It's really pretty and the ball is kind of fun too. Um, okay. <laughs> to go along, I get giddy when I think about this next one. Um, chocolate. <laughs> it's so cute. It's from Lint. It says, hello, my name is Coffee Blast. Nice to sweet you. Feeling hot? Have a shot. <sighs> How cute is that? Um, milk chocolate with coffee flavored filling. It's so good. Just go to Target and buy it. I don't know where else you can get it. I picked it up at, at Target. It's by Lint. It's in the chocolate section. It's delicious. If you like coffee, if you like chocolate and you like them together, pick this up. Just try it. You'll thank me later. Um, Alright, on to the makeup stuff. So, as I was going through my things, I normally make a list, but with the 12 days of Christmas, if you missed any of that shenanigans, it is all in my video library. Um, it starts off with day one of a swap, and it ends with thank yous and shout outs. I will have all those in my video library. Just click on videos, and you can see all of those. So, if you missed any of the 12 days of Christmas, then um, you can head on, head on over and watch all those. But the reason I'm referring to that is that between the, that 12 days of Christmas, I filmed 15 videos in two weeks. Yeah, I was busy. It took a lot out of me. So I normally make a list of all my December favorites, but I had lists upon lists. I had lists about lists and then lists about lists about lists. No joke. So my calendar was a hot mess of scribbling and scrabbling and doing this and that. I was just all over the place. So I didn't have time to make a December favorites list, but I didn't really need to make a list because all these products I've just literally been using every day. So it's a pretty good month. I mean, not that all months aren't, but this one in particular. So let's just start off with face. So I have neglected this poor little beautiful product. It's the Josie Marin Argon Illuminizer. So as you can see, I've decided to pull it out and work on using it. Um, it's winter. You know, everyone's saying their skin is dry, this, that, and the other thing. So I've been using this product 
after my primer so I moisturize my face and then I go in with my primer and then I, as my primer is sinking in before my foundation I've been using this before foundation you can definitely mix it in with foundation if you would like but I've been putting it all over my skin just to give my skin base a complete illuminated effect then when I go it doesn't really matter what kind of finish you go in because your skin is radiated uh, before you even go into your foundation um, I've been using this I love it it's beautiful. This is enough product to last you forever. I've had this for well over a year. Well over a year, perhaps even two. So I really need to use this up, but I've been using it on its own, just, just glowing up my face. If you're going to be going out to any parties or anything, or, or out on a date night, I would even take this down into your decollete because it's a cream formula. It just really looks pretty on the skin. It doesn't look like powder or glittery or anything. It's just a fine, very finely milled illuminizer. It's just gorgeous. So. That's what I've been doing with my face. The other products I've been reaching for with this brush um, are mineral powders to set my face. So instead of using um, like a setting powder or like a loose powder, I've been reaching for a mineral powder. And to buff it in, I've been using the Sephora number 56 Pro Air, no, 55 Pro Airbrush brush. My friend Amy gave me this brush and at first I wasn't sure what I was gonna use it for. But I have been using this with mineral powder. Because it's not very dense, it's kind of, as you can see, it's more fluffy than dense. It doesn't pick up a ton of product. But since I've been using mineral powder to set my foundation, I don't really need much powder. So this brush works so well for that because it doesn't pick up a lot and then you can just buff it into your skin very lightly. I mean, I've been using even a light hand. I mean, you can get a more dense application by a light, a light hand and just buffing it in. And I've been trying to use up my Bare Minerals um, Loose Powder Foundation. I've had those for, I'm not even telling you how long. Um, but I, I guess it doesn't really have anything bad in it, so it doesn't expire. So I hear. That's what I told myself. I'm not breaking out, though, so I think we're okay. Um, I'm in the shade Fairly Light, if you're curious. Um, and then I've also been using the Laura Mercier Mineral Powder. This is too dark for me. It's in Natural Beige. This would probably be more of, like, my summer foundation. But... Since I'm using just a tiny bit of it, it just really essentially is adding warmth to my face because as you can see, I'm getting very ghostly. Um, I'm even considering self-tanning just so I can use some of my favorite foundations I used all summer because I'm so pale now that even this stuff, which I really like, I love the finish of it, it's just too dark. Um, but in conjunction, this brush has just really been working so well. Um, before I forget... I just wanted to mention this has nothing to do with makeup. I have more makeups to talk, makeups, more makeup things to talk about. But my husband and I went on a movie date. Well, it was yesterday. It'd be Wednesday to you. Not that you care what day it was. A movie favorite, a movie recommendation. Run out and see this movie before it gets out of the theaters. I'm not even kidding you. Write this down. Interstellar amazing movie. I mean, I don't I don't frequent the movie theaters. Quite frankly, we have two little ones, so we don't ever go to the movie theaters unless we have babysitters. If you're looking for an amazing movie to go and sit in the theaters, that's not going to waste your time. It's just all around an amazing movie, good effects, good writing, good acting, everything. Just go see Interstellar. And I was shocked at some of the people I didn't know that were in that movie, and I don't know if you know it or if anybody knew it until you like go and watch the movie because they weren't in, her, in any of the interviews about the movie, just go and watch it. Another one, if you're looking for something to take your children to, Big Hero 6. We took my four-year-old and my two-and-a-half-year-old. Now, my, my four-year-old, she we ordered a large popcorn to share. She, no joke, nonstop, ate popcorn through the entire movie, just glued. <laughs> and, of course, my kid is the one that laughs after everybody else laughs and then everybody else laughs again at her because she's just super cute and she doesn't I mean she knows what's going on but not with the whole laughing part anyways so it was super cute Isaac he was just kind of it was a little stressful for us I was sweating by the end of the movie because he was into everything <laughs> this popcorn that popcorn popcorn on the floor mommy and about you know anyways another fabulously written movie very entertaining even for me, like even my husband really, really enjoyed it and my dad who's not really into cartoons, but it's not that cartoony. Anyways, two movie recommendations, two movie favorites, absolutely nothing to do with makeup. Let's continue. The whole cream thing was kind of the theme this month because my skin's gotten a little bit drier. I just thought, you know what, I'm going to start using my cream products. I used to use them in the summer, but now I'm thinking cream products are really great for the winter. 
the Sony Kashuk. I'm almost done with this. I have been on a mission to use this up. It's the cream bronzer, and I don't want to use it up because I don't like it. I love it. I want to use it up because I have a Chanel one waiting, and I want to compare. Um, so uh, the, I'm in the shade Warm Tan. I use this today. I've been using it all month long to bronze up, warm up my skin, and I've been using it with the e.l.f. Small Stipple Brush, which works perfect. If you have a smaller face like me, you can just really, really get in there. This, These two together are just a beautiful combination. I've even been using this on my mom. She had bought this a while ago when I told her to buy it, and she didn't know how to use it, so I've been showing her how to use it. It is just a beautiful product, um, great way to warm up your skin. It's not too orange. It does come in another shade that I think is a little darker, but I'm in the warm tan. For eyes, oh, two complete standout products. One of these is going to be a yearly favorite for sure. Let's just talk about that first. And it is the Ingla Gel Eyeliner. Now, I literally just this morning threw away my Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner because it, first of all, it's getting dry. Second of all, it doesn't hold a candlestick to this stuff. This stuff is way more black, way more pigmented. I feel like it's even creamier than when I first got that when it was brand new. And this is, what, 12 or $13? This is a no-joke eyeliner. And you know what? What other ones have I tried? I've tried Makeup Geek. I've tried some from the drugstore. I mean, you just, just get this. I mean, don't even mess around with anything else. This is just a fabulous gel eyeliner. It's $13. If you like colors, they have a huge selection of colors on the website, but I myself just like the black. It stays in your waterline, and that's the thing. Like, I'm not talking 12 to 15 hours stays in your waterline. I'm talking like a normal work day. It stayed in my waterline. Um, I did set it with uh, black eyeshadow, but I've done that with other ones, and it didn't work. So this is... Mm, good stuff. Another eye product that is whew, gorgeous. I mean, it is straight up gorgeous. Just pick it up. <laughs> it's the Marc Jacobs Twinkle Pop in Franny. These are cool. I mean, the packaging is super cute. It's like a little pencil or whatever. Is that sun getting in the way? Ugh. I don't know what I'm going to do here in this month of January with the sun. I love the sun, but it's not good for filming. Um, these have a cooling effect. So when you swatch this, your hand has this cooling sensation but just look at that shimmer and shine I mean oh, my hand is cooling right now it feels like you have icy hot on your hand but not like burning or anything crazy it's just a cooling sensation it feels super cool um it's just a great silver color just oh I wanted a color that would be universal so I could wear this with whatever color shadows I feel like wearing, from neutrals to greens or blues or purples or whatever. And so there are a lot of other colors in these Twinkle Pop um, cream shadows, but that color is just stunning. Um, okay, a couple things left here. I just hauled these, and I've had them since a couple weeks. And I realize you're thinking, well, that wasn't the whole month. It didn't need to be because they're that good and I would recommend them to you. And they're the ColourPop eyeshadows. Um, I bought two limited edition kits, the Not A Box Of Chocolates and the Megan Nake collection. These two are from the Not A Box Of Chocolates. If it is still available, I will link it below. Grab it, snag it, it's amazing. So I picked up the colors, um, no, I didn't pick them up. I picked up the whole collection. I'm wearing these two colors today and I've been gravitating towards these two colors out of all of the ones that I picked. This one is called Electra. Yeah, it's gorgeous. It is, uh, it has tiny, tiny particles of glitter in it, tiny. It's like a great mulberry, purpley, burgundy shade. So pretty. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. So, so pretty. Just, I love these types of shades in my eyes. It's not quite purple, but it's not really brown. It's just a fun, fun way to wear a color. And then on my lids, I'm wearing this one called Halo. And it is just stunning. It's just stunning. You know, and this one in particular, I even put this one on my mom. Um, just so pretty on the lids. It does have small particles of glitter in it, but this one's not not super glittery like a few of the other ones that I have. It's like a, a creamy champagne yellow with just a little bit of glitter. I think these three together would make an absolutely beautiful eye look. I should have done that, but... Anyways, I love these. They're $5 a piece. I mean, you can't go wrong. $5. Even my mom just ordered a whole bunch of the matte ones, and the matte ones just came out, so I would definitely snag those. 
And this is completely out of order, and is this the last thing? Yes, it is. Um, it's this blush. I got this in my swap from Lisa. Lisa, this is a fabulous blush. Thank you so much. It's called Spice Cider, and it's from Laura Mercier. And I have never tried any of Laura Mercier's blushes. It's the second skin cheek color. I've tried a lot of things from Laura Mercier, and as a whole, I really like the brand. I really do. Um, I haven't tried everything, but everything I have, I really like. And honestly... I think everything I've tried from her has appeared in one of my favorites videos, no joke. Um, but anyways, this is just a really pretty, warm, kind of like a, a tawny color, kind of like a tawny color, like a peachy, I don't know. It's just a great neutral color. I've been wearing it a ton because I like, I've been doing a lot more glam eye looks. Just look at that. That's making me want to pick up another blush. It is so pretty on. It blends really nice. It really truly just glides onto your skin. Um, and I love a product that works with you, not against you. Just let me tell you that. Because a couple days ago when my mom and I were in here and I was organizing my makeup, I literally threw a bunch of makeup away. And you think, well, why did you do that? It didn't work for me. And um, I, I gave my mom some stuff and then what she didn't want, I just, you know, there's just, I'm not messing around anymore. If it's if it costs a little bit more, but it's going to work for me, then I'm, I'm going that direction at this point. So, those are all my favorites this month, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I love to share things that are my favorites because I only recommend things that I truly like. I mean, what's the point of recommending something that sucks? Because then that you're just going to be like, then that doesn't, you know, then you lose your trust in me and it discredits who I am and, and all that good stuff. But anyways, I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I um, have a whole bunch in store here in the next couple weeks. So be on the lookout for some really awesome videos coming your way. So I hope you guys have a fabulous rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon.